What I've seen is that so many people are enjoying their time in Knoxville. People who live here already want to stay here because there's great job opportunities, great quality of life. And a lot of people want to move here, so that's all good news in some ways, but it also means uh, we have a housing crunch. Strategically located one and a half miles from downtown Knoxville, the Western Heights community at Beaumont dates back to 1940, when the first families moved in. Western Heights in Beaumont is such a great location. Uh, I used to bike to school with my kids sometimes, and uh, it's really close to a lot of residential neighborhoods. It's close to uh, bus lines. It's really close to downtown, and yet there were kids that we knew who had never been downtown. Beaumont Magnet Academy serves the students living in the neighborhood along with Northwest Middle and Fulton High School. And as Beaumont Magnet Academy, we are part of this community. So I think when you make the community stronger and more vibrant, then it automatically impacts the school. It's going to be a path where the kids can go to, go to school and they can experience things on the way. One of the things that's really exciting about this is they've been intentional about including the arts integration piece throughout the community, which is critically important to us because we're the arts integrated magnet school. We're gonna have that available through Transforming Western in the community. We will actually have a maker space so our students can enjoy not only art here, but art after school. Beaumont is now a school where people want to move into that neighborhood and, and get their kids educated there. And that's good for the kids in Western Heights and the Beaumont community and the entire zone. It's a generous community, but it's not a wealthy community and it's not an economically diverse community yet. And so that's part of Transforming Western, building on the, the strengths of the community and the residents and their huge giving spirit. but but doing so in a, in a broader, more holistic way. We're doing this big investment because we believe in the people of Beaumont and Western Heights, and we believe that they deserve uh, investment after seeing decades of disinvestment. We have a lot of affordable housing communities, but a lot of them are very old, and it shows no matter how much we try to patch and, and put things together, it just the wear and tear of it. Over the years, the Western Heights community has aged and fallen into disrepair. Structural damage along with outdated and decaying interiors have left the neighborhood in desperate need of improvement. But it's important because of our children. They deserve to have new places and safe spaces to be able to not only live, but to also to thrive. Place matters, and for low-income families growing up in an area of concentrated poverty has lifelong impacts. It is very hard for people to get good outcomes when they are surrounded with, with poverty and with the trauma that that poverty brings for children and to families. $40 million Choice Neighborhoods Implementation Grant for Knoxville will make all the difference in the world. There are only so many resources to go around and we've got a lot of neighborhoods that need attention. So this is going to give us $40 million toward Beaumont and Western Heights, which arguably could use more love than any other neighborhood. It's been a while since we've been able to reinvest there. So it's going to get us started on a creation for a housing plan that will serve families and kids for generations to come. but it would be changing lives to a degree that it's hard to describe because of what that community has also endured over the years and 
that it's been overlooked for, for so many generations. And so just the thought of our children being able to have a new space, a new home to be able to live and to play and to thrive in a safe place, in a community, that's what it means and so much more. Things are changing quickly in the Western Heights community. Through collective input, a transformation plan was developed to support change. Seeing everyone and you're getting everybody's opinion and people had good things to say. We've taken a lot of time to work with the community to listen to their voices about what they see as the future and the vision for that site. It would improve the area and help other people improve themselves at the same time because some of the things that they are planning to do will help the community. So what I love is it's not been this approach of let's tell you all what you need. It's let's talk to the residents, let's talk to the school, let's talk to the communities, let's talk to the partners that are going to be working with this project. And I think that's when change really happens and that's when people just kind of flourish. It would mean so much because a lot out here would change. The community would grow bigger. Our kids would have things to do. And I feel like people will come together more. And I think that's um, probably the key detail of how this is going to be successful. This is actually the opportunity of a lifetime for us. With this project, the beauty of it is it's a community center type deal. And so the vision is that this would be a place where people would enjoy living, working, um, sharing in each other's lives, to really make a, a, a very, in my mind, cool place for people to go. The plan includes the construction of an array of beautiful modern housing units, including extremely low income, affordable, and market rate units. The new units will give current residents a new sense of pride and self-worth, while also attracting new individuals and families to choose Western Heights as their new home. The fact that we're not just asking people to change themselves, but to participate in this change as part of something much, much bigger, I think is the really, really exciting and challenging uh, part of Transforming Western. We have a great deal of confidence in our ability to transform Western, and a great example of that is where we sit right now. This is First Creek at Austin. KCDC has recently completed phase one of another community across town. First Creek at Austin is a brand new mixed income community offering townhomes and multifamily units, all with top of the line finishes. This community uh, has a long tradition of pride in it. So to look at it today, it gives a sense of hope and inspiration to not only the residents who are returning, but for future generations three phases, maybe some limited commercial with a greenway that connects back to downtown to make sure that jobs, employment, all the things that people want are available to them within walking distance. So this is not the first time we've undertaken this um, and you can look around and see the beautiful amenities that this site has to offer. We think that that's very transferable to what we're trying to do at Western Heights. The new Western Heights development design also includes three critical community improvements. The construction of a new neighborhood anchor building is planned. Serving as the lifeblood of the community, this building will be vital for the neighborhood in allowing residents to fall in love with their passions and turning those into careers and opportunities to create income. This center will serve both adults and youth weaving entrepreneurship and job training into the love of the arts, giving access to everyone. 
We provide workforce training, uh, credentialing in healthcare, culinary, construction, and advanced manufacturing for folks um, looking to do better, gain, gain employment and meaningful employment so that they can help their families. We help people finish high school, get jobs, uh, and then you know, kind of build a family atmosphere you know, in our, with our community here in, in Western Heights. We bring them in, and this is examples of some of the, the welding students' works from before, just practicing drawing beads, so you develop the skill that you need and then it can take you wherever. So the, the hope is that we will have a space in one of the new buildings here in the development uh, so that we can move here to this neighborhood, offer classes and memberships for really reduced or free prices to the, to the locals in this neighborhood. A world-class destination park is also planned. The park will feature play equipment, splash pads, picnic shelters, and walking paths. Because families really cannot deal with a beautiful park. I mean, you can't make your own park for your children. You know, this has to come through community-wide effort. Another park will take advantage of the neighborhood slope to create a unique climbing area with slides. This hillside park will connect to the Community Benefit Restaurant, where parents and families can eat on outdoor patios, enjoying the spectacular views of downtown Knoxville and the Great Smoky Mountains. Some of the best views in Knoxville are at the top of that hill, and, and with this project we're going to have a destination park, so it's going to be great for the kids and families in Western Heights, but also it's going to be a place where people come and bring their kids and grandkids and, and play. And so to go from just uh, a few modest park amenities to a destination park that's the envy of the rest of the city, I think that's probably the thing that excites me the most. Commitment to the business community is vital to any neighborhood, and with the Facade Enhancement Grant, existing business owners will be able to improve the exterior of those commercial properties. We view it as transformational for our city because it's, it's an area that needs transformation. Uh, but we also see that usually in that transformation, it benefits everyone's lives, that they're more motivated to uh, be involved, to help, to work with each other. The city of Knoxville is heavily committed to the overall improvement of the Western Heights community and to the city as a whole. I'm so proud that the city is investing $25 million over six years in transforming Western. And just to give a little context, our entire budget is uh, over, just a little over $300 million. So this is a huge amount of money. The beautiful South Knoxville waterfront is just one example of how Knoxville is leading the way in revitalization and growth. And we also need to make sure that the people who have been here for generations also have opportunities to grow and thrive and, and benefit from our increased quality of life. And that's one of the many reasons I'm so excited about the input we've gotten from the people of Beaumont and Western Heights. They love their community. They have some assets there, but they want to see their community grow. They don't want to have to move to benefit from all the good things happening in our city. Several more exciting neighborhood advancements are on the horizon for Western Heights. Currently under construction is the new Head Start facility. It will serve a total of 132 children from birth to age five. We are excited about the development of this center in the Western Heights community. Head Start has centers throughout the community, but by having a center here, and we're doing that in partnership with KCDC, we're able to serve children and families in this community. It's a fresh school for the kids, and they finding good teachers and parents to put their kids in the program, the ones that really need the help. It's close for us to get to our kids being in this community. I think it's just an exciting thing. By having a center here, those families can actually walk their children here. They can drive their children here on the way to work and drop them off. And what is more hopeful than intervening with infants and their families so that they are going to be ready to learn, 
ready to be successful, and really ready to contribute to the life of the community. The Boys and Girls Club already has a presence in the community, serving around 40 children per day. Through renovation and expanding the space, that number will jump to over 100 children per day, including middle and high school students. The Boys and Girls Club, to be able to span our current footprint and have a larger footprint would allow us to be able to serve even more kids and give more opportunities to those families that are moving in. It feels like there's a greater sense of community because of this development, and that is so important, especially in the times that we're living in now. And so this community, as well as future communities that are planned through KCDC, are so critically important to not only our children, but to all people here in the city and the community of Knoxville. It just brings a sense of community back to the Western Heights of Beaumont area. To further create a sense of community pride and involvement, an entrepreneurship center will be built. In a partnership with Junior Achievement and Knoxville Entrepreneur Center, adults and youth will be able to enjoy classes and job training in starting businesses centered around the arts. Within that, we'll be able to help students learn how, and, and families how to run online businesses and how to merchandise, how to have an hourly job or how to um, schedule, scheduling, so anything that comes with a retail experience. It means so many people in this city are going to benefit from the, the community that's there. The one part of our plan that we are most excited about is being able to have an area and a storefront location where students can uh, keep all of their products displayed as a general market. A large focus of KCDC's plan will be food entrepreneurship. A new food service building will offer local food partners the opportunity to develop a variety of meal options serving the entire community. And what I really love about the leadership at KCDC is that they don't see this as a top-down thing. They see this as talking to the people in the community. What do you need? What are the strengths of your community? What do you want to keep? And what is missing? And so that, those conversations have been a huge part of why the city of Knoxville is investing in, in transforming Western. The residents of Western Heights have a collective vision of a safe neighborhood for all with new housing and programming for children and adults. The leadership of KCDC, the City of Knoxville, Knoxville Knox County Community Action Committee, Brinshore Development, and other partners will transform Western Heights into a neighborhood of choice for current and future residents. This Choice Neighborhoods Implementation Grant is $40 million, and that is going to really enable us to go from what we want to do uh, and do it uh, just by the skin of our teeth to really making it happen and really transforming it in six years. Six years seems like a long time, but I know for someone who's just born today, that means by the time they're six years old, they're really going to have uh, a new, new opportunity, live in a neighborhood of opportunity where they and their brothers and sisters and their parents and grandparents and aunts and uncles will want to live there and stay there and will be able to do so in a, in a new way where they're connected to opportunity in ways they never have been before. It's amazing. I, 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 uh, if we get this grant, it's going to be a game changer for Knoxville. The $40 million is really going to take us from a plan on paper to being able to implement and make a reality what the dreams and visions of this neighborhood are. For Knoxville, it would be life-changing for us as a city, but even more so for our residents, and that's what's at the heart of our city is our residents, especially our children. The possibilities are endless, and what it would mean to the residents would be the promise that anything is possible. We will make a multi-year commitment of 9% housing tax credits for as many years as necessary to see Knoxville's development to its conclusion. And your assurance that we will do that is our track record. I'm excited about getting to know more people. I'm actually a quiet person in the state to myself, so the more people I know, I can open up more.
By working together to find solutions for a healthier living environment, we create a stronger community and ensuring a brighter future for our children and families that we serve. I hope that the Transforming Western investments and the people and the infrastructure will expand people's minds and horizons so when they see the sun sphere, when they see those sky ride, you know, the, the skyline of downtown Knoxville, that they feel a sense of ownership and that they belong and that those opportunities of, of strolling down Gay Street, of coming to events in, in World's Fair Park, that, that that's for them too and that they have access to it and that they're part of the city just as much as anybody else. <laughs>